if you're standing there, sit down. See if there's any paper right. on there. Mm hmm. Let's see. Hi, y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm really tired. I've done a lot of shopping and a lot of walking. And I just got done eating. And um, I've seen a lot, a lot of people. I bought a couple of books. I bought a Joe Salatin book, and I've heard him speak a couple of times today. That is really awesome. Got to tell them who you are. Huh? Got to tell them who you are. Oh, Teresa. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they kind of, some of them know. <laughs> Teresa with Stringfield Ridge Farm. Yeah, I can't see that. Never mind. Uh, there's Albany Mountain and and Nathan and North Star Prep Stetter and Grizz. It's been a wonderful time, but I am more plum out. <coughs> there's Linda. Hi, Linda. <laughs> um, so. If you ever get a chance to come, it's wonderful. But boy, am I wore out, that's for sure. A lot of walking. Um, I think probably there was a little bit of sw seat swap, but man, they were gone fast. Um, there's hard neck bones. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh, seat swap. I went up to the seat swap, and they, don't, they only had it for about 30 minutes. And they dumped some seeds out there on the table, and man, they were gone quick. I think I got five. I got five packs of seeds. So we had to stop and buy more. But uh, they were gone quick. And um, I, I done some filming, but my battery's already dead. So I'm done filming for the day because my battery's dead. <laughs> Linda Renner. Linda Renner. Um, I went to pick up your t-shirt and her door was closed and I called her or I texted her to ask her when she was going to open back up because I was leaving that next morning and uh, she never answered me. So as soon as I get back home Monday, I am going to get your shirt one way or another. <laughs> I will break the door down, steal your shirt. <laughs> and there is mayonnaise on it. <laughs> um, You're welcome. Love you. So, what kind of seeds? Oh, let's see. You don't know what kind of seeds I got. It's been a bit loud. I got some spaghetti squash. I've been wanting some spaghetti squash. Yes, canna lily roots are edible. So, if you have canna lily flowers, they're beautiful flowers, and then if you're ever in a pinch and need some food, you can dig up the roots and eat the roots. So there you go, canna lily. The roots are edible, yep. Um, you want to see the sawmill? Grace wants to see the sawmill. <laughs> You come over here and jump on a little bit. Megan and I just did. We did a couple hours ago. Okay. Yeah. I'm digging. Uh, sorry. I must have been elsewhere. Uh, yeah, you were. She said that's here. usually a sign that they don't want to stay. Okay, so. Um, Having a good time? I'm, I'm trying to stay in a. So early on, I went up to get a homesteader's hat, and they were sold out early on yesterday. So I went back today because I saw one sitting there, and I went back and I said, You still don't have hats? And they said, no, but we're taking pre-orders on, on, and put them online, and you get a discount for ordering it here. So, I got a discount on getting a hat. And I'll find the right place. Kathy! Not that I saw. Oh. Is that yours? That's mine. That's mine. 
I've been wandering around and ended up losing people, and um, so I lost Kathy earlier. I went to eat, and she was watching Joe Saladin. They are they are fixing to do a, a panel. Have everybody up there uh, do a panel at 1:30. So I'm gonna go back up for that. They're gonna have all the speakers up there and do like a panel Q and A. So I'm gonna go back up for that. I'm in and out of the stream. Oh, getting in and out. Yep. Green Zebra Gardening. Yep, well, it sure has been a lot of fun. And uh, definitely, if you ever get a chance, come check it out. It's well worth it, all the information you get. And freebies, freebies and giveaways. Um, let's see what I got. Well, there's Joe Salatin's book. Got that. Not furry. Kathy's laughing. That's Kathy laughing. <laughs> I got this furry. It just dawned on me. They had a few giveaways at the Meyer Hatchery, stuff like that, and you know, pens and pencils and things. And I bought a sign there about chickens. I'm, I'm, so, I'm trying not to do that this weekend. Everything else is in Sherry's truck. <laughs> I bought so much stuff, I had to come put it in Sherry's truck. Until we get real in. So, that's all I know. I'll see if anybody else wants to get on here. Stay right there. I'm going to get oh, on there with never you. Never mind. We've got Kathy from Living Miracle Homestead. Woo. <laughs> Oh, you're in there. there you go. Are what y'all talking about? Are you tired too? How silly I am. The camera, Teresa is. Oh, you got it bigger. On is too bright. Oh, this one. <clears throat> and this one's bright. You can't well, see it. Well, it is. And then this one. Because of the sun. Yeah. Because Coming of the, the sun. Yeah, I wouldn't say. Because of if the I sun, run an automatic, it's too dark and I can't see your face. So. Um, okay. Daryl said if he does it any other way, it's too going? dark and he can't see faces. Yeah, um, Nathan said, Teresa is a shopper for sure. Yes, you got that right. And uh, he, can you see it? He says, Hey, Kathy, that's Nathan. Hey, hey Nathan, Kathy, how ready? are you? Yes, I am ready to go hunting. And look. Can you see him? Can you see her camo? She's got on camo pants. <laughs> with, with tennis shoes. <laughs> but I won't need them anyways because I'll be in a blind. Uh, Nathan said it's just my right hand glove. Right place, right area. That's funny. How's it going, Linda? It is just basically Yep. I'm Are so excited tired? about my trip. I am so excited. <laughs> We're talking about, okay, so how am I going to get all that meat home? I guess i got to get a, a cooler and some dry ice. And i got to figure out how to make it in my size food. Yeah. Um... Mr. Higgs said he would take care of you, make sure. Oh yeah, he's a, yeah. He, he, he is definitely going to take care of me and, and he's going to teach me how to butcher it and everything. So I'm kind of excited. See, David's always done all that work. <laughs> and they re really didn't teach me one more way out I was the one that held the deer up when, it, when, when his brother got one. And, he couldn't dress it out because it wouldn't stain the thing because he, he tore up the ligament or something or other. Is that intended for him or did you just take hugging it? it and keeping it up. Okay. <laughs> so it was interesting, but um, they never really did teach me 
I want to know about how to carve it and get the best out of the meat, you know, and uh, how to cure it and everything. Uh, Joe Saladin done his uh, talking about the chicken tractors and all that stuff, and then he went over to an, a tent outdoors and actually done uh, processing the chicken and um, showing you how best to cut it up to get the most meat out of it and everything it was very interesting. I thought it was really cool and it didn't take him no time at all. And it didn't look like it was um, a hard time, did you think? Uh-uh, he didn't, I mean it was like boom, 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 he's yeah. done. Yeah. yeah, it was very interesting. He's an interesting speaker, for sure. And uh, also, Rory Feek came through. the bacon? Rory Feek. Oh, yes. The, the country, country singer. And singer. he was up there. He's still up there, actually. He's still up there. He was eating last time I went by there. But he's got a film crew with him and everything. And he was walking around and doing some filming and, and uh, has this little girl with him. And that was pretty neat. I put in a good word for Jess. I put in a good word for Jess with Half Yard Production with Bramley through a email. Cool. Very nice. Thank you for doing that. I love Jess. I saw I'm somebody has a picture up get to 29 degrees during the night. But she may submit to, to tell you if and when you need more quail. I have three different colors now and around 100 birds. Yes. Who's got that? Nathan. Oh. I will be, would be more than willing to buy some of those. Sure would. I am vacant. We'll have to talk, Nathan, because I've only done the Caternics, so I don't know about the other breeds. I, I was told that I the think button you. quails or, and the white uh, Bob Whites are really flighty and yeah. not very good. I, I had the button quail. They're tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. I got rid of those. Uh, but I think he has some jumbo. Don't you, Nathan, have some jumbo whites? Why did it say no different person, Kathy? No. If I got started, different person. I uh, we can't go back up. We can't scroll back up and say. Oh, Kathy can. Maybe. Yeah. Teresa Mc... 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 If you name more quail. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about either. Well, I use plant-based. Oh. So I still get... He's talking to North North Star Prep Stater. Okay. 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 Uh, Rory Fig is awesome. I miss Joey. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I made some... Yeah, well, he's up there. He was up there walking around with his film crew and talked to a few people and then uh, he was sitting over there eating at a picnic table. They got some really cool, um, what do you call these things, booths? Behind us they got a Deuterra, which I uh, got some information from, and then that other lady right beside me, what's her name? I don't remember. She's in Harmony Farms. Said Harmony Farms. Um, I didn't get to get up there and I, talk to her I got to much. taste her fire cider. I've never tasted fire cider, and I kind of like it. Yeah, it's really good for you. I made some before, but it, I, I saved I it, recipe, I didn't, so I I saved it and was going to during cold season take it. So, several people have probably um, still in my background. <laughs> berry syrup and stuff here too. Yeah, all yeah. kinds of stuff for sale here. He said I have all Cortinex but three different colors and all jumbo. So they are jumbo Cortinex. 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 Jumbo white recessive jumbo and Italians and jumbo browns. Hmm. So you have the jumbo right, white, right? Because that's what I had, and I met. I still have a couple, but I incubated some of the eggs, and I think what I have actually now is a little bit smaller, like they probably bred with some of the others, and I have a combo. Off-breed? Yeah. I think. They still eat good. Uh, Life with Linda. Did you see Joey watch the video message from Dolly Parton? Made me cry. Hmm. I didn't see that. 
but he seems really really nice I heard him up there I didn't talk to him but I saw him talking to other people and he seems like a really really nice fella and um, is he waiting somebody waiting to get over there <laughs> we can move oh yeah uh, yes, I'm hatching them out like crazy. Well, good. Yeah, I'll get some. We can move. I can. I'd be glad to expand my my quail. <laughs> I don't incubate real good. I hatch some, but they just don't do like they should. I have an old crappy incubator too, though. So I will be talking to you, Nathan. All right. See y'all. Somebody else is coming on. Tell me a smudge sticker. <laughs> See, I've been oh, no. the camera I'm gonna try to stay behind. Right. <laughs> so tell the folks who you are. I'm Kilted Gardener. Um, my name's Robert. Yes, by oh, yeah, official. The hair. But I go by Kilted Gardener on YouTube, guys. <laughs> and tell us about your channel. Uh, my channel's a little dabble in everything. Uh, everyday life, from fixing tires to gardening. Okay. So it's not strictly a homesteading channel, but it ventures on it sometimes. Yep. Okay. Sometimes I sidewind off. So. Okay. <laughs> and how often do you upload on your channel? Um, not nearly as much as I want to, just because we have an 11 month old and it's kind of sporadic at the moment. All right. so. And how, how, uh, how long have you had your channel? My channel's probably been up about six years. Six years, all right. Um, like I say, not enough videos to account for those six years but okay well kilted gardener the the name just is a little different so yep and you're wearing a kilt i do wear my kilt so i do not wear it however on my videos because it's not a utility kilt and i don't want to mess up a nice wool kilt okay so once i get the utility kilt then maybe people will see it more <laughs> okay so okay if, if you would kind of kind of share a little bit you know about the story behind your name well the story is just my heritage i, I love wearing a kilt first off and okay. second i just it's comfortable to be in even even in the cold weather it's okay it's nice and easy to put on and get outside and do what you need to do and feel the breeze between your legs okay <laughs> to say them i guess it's, Hey, Samson Farms. <laughs> uh, Kilted Gardener Hardnick Farms. So, so maybe Nathan or uh, somebody else can grab the link and put it on there if you would, please. Sure can. Yeah, I don't like that feeling. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and also YouTube. Okay. Okay. Facebook probably gets a little bit more attention. Okay. Mainly pictures and stuff like that. But okay. Try to tell my story and. Well, I know that I've seen you online a number number of different uh, online adventures. I mod for a lot of people as well. So. Yes. And maybe this one. Um, Prep Center Bob, I think. I did do with Prep Center Bob for quite a bit and uh, Blake Kirby, Daddy Blake Bird. Kirby. Yeah. A little bit with Doug and Stacy. So. Uh, well, with Doug and Stacy, they're here today. They, they both. Here today to visit with us a little bit. Uh, Blake was here yep. yesterday. He's still here. And I've not seen him today, but I know he uh, he was set, set where you're Yeah, we had a live a little bit ago. But, uh, okay. People can go back and check that out. Okay. And uh, hey, we treat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. Got the gang in here. No ready. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I like to put extra lime right going up and down all day. That's nice. It's great. Going up and down all day. So, and what I wanted to so yeah, I just dabble in things, and if somebody likes to follow somebody who's a little bit random, that's probably me. <laughs> okay. Um, your opinion on, on the conference? The conference has been wonderful. Amy's done a wonderful job with it. Uh, Is this your first time? I was here last year for one day. Okay. Um, but the conference has been just phenomenal. It grows every year. Last year it seemed a little slower than this year, and this year it's definitely action-packed. I feel like I can't stop looking for people or yeah, posting or getting pictures. It's our third yeah. year, and absolutely. 
and we volunteered the last two years. And, uh, this year, the first year, we actually did, uh, we went around and interviewed all the vendors. This was at the other location, it wasn't here at this fairgrounds. And we interviewed all the vendors, and that took me three videos, because I didn't want to do a long video. It took me three videos to put them up, interviewing all the vendors. That's a lot of undertaking. <laughs> And uh, I hate to think of it today. I mean, it's just... You can't catch everybody, yeah. even though you want to. I think next year, if I do it, we're getting a camping spot. Just so I can interact with more people. Well, and we're, we're, the, we're very, very thankful to Amy for, for allowing us to set up and do the live stream. We've been going all day, all day yesterday, all day today. And uh, sounds like Doug's firing the crowd up. Yeah, yeah, Doug's, Doug's getting people ready. Um, but no, we're having a great time, and we certainly, uh, certainly appreciate uh, everybody stopping by and saying hello. And definitely agree with Samson's farm his comment right there. And, and Wheat Tree is uh, great is, people. Is talking you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try to do what I would want for my own kids and keep things friendly, and mm -hmm. that's what our community is about. So. Absolutely, absolutely. So, chicken. Yep. They thrown your link out here a couple times. Anything you want to share with the folks that couldn't make it? They couldn't um, be here. I suggest if you can make it, to make it. To make uh, it. It's definitely worth your time and the little bit of money you have to put in for it. But and, and I know it's hard for people. But if you can't make it, maybe make a show in your location. Well, exactly, and, and we, always, we always recommend if you have the opportunity to attend even a picnic type meetup, yeah, by all means do so because the uh, the folks are just great. Yeah, it's great to meet the people in 3D. <laughs> yeah, it's it's officially nice to shake somebody's hand Absolutely. instead of uh, chat through computers and all that jazz that we do. Um, are you going to the Good Little Land Fest? Uh, I've not heard anything about that, so I, I can't It's say. a smaller okay. event. And I that is know. where and when? Texas, and I forget what part of Texas. I think it's not this weekend, but it might be next weekend. Well, we're, we're definitely not going to make it this year. <laughs> We've done a lot of traveling. Oh yeah, I can tell. I don't know if you've, you've followed us around or not, but we started out this spring at um, Mississippi, Deep South Homestead. Right. And just went from there. We went from there, we went Shindig. We went to the Bayou Bash. We went to um, the Hoot Nanny up in Michigan. Um, Big Bear Homestead had a, uh, had a deal. That's in the books, Wee Tree. <laughs> yes. Yes, we have Kilted Gardener scheduled for June 22nd. June 22nd, 2020. That's where we're at right now. Now, I, I know that's a long way off. And I'm going to try to work on that a little bit. Uh, I've got a couple ideas, and I'll just throw this out to you. But we're thinking about maybe having two at the same time. Could work. Could bounce each other's head to talk each other so so this is a possibility uh, we're not going to change the format at all this year we're going to finish out the year this year this has been crazy i could only imagine <laughs> and but we're considering changing the format it used to be we would sometimes struggle to try you know, who we're going to have next week and, but we've had a lot of people now that are just and it's been wonderful we really enjoy doing this, and uh, so definitely good times that's, ahead. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I want to, want to make sure I got your got your email, and we, we'll be in touch. And um, it definitely sounds good. So, and th anything else you would like to see of our channel? I just love what you guys do, interviewing people and seeing who they are and what they're for, and I mean. Did but you, I haven't seen anything that I need to... Did you have the opportunity to watch last Monday night? I did not get last Monday night with Prep Sucker Bob. Was no, no, it no. Prep Sucker Bob? No, it was Weed Him and Reed. I did not. Hughes Channel. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with them at all or not. I'm not, but I will go back and watch it. 
but uh, they've got 375, 380,000. But a large, large percentage of their followers are youngsters, young people. So open up the phone line and we had young people calling. I had them stacked up 15, 20, 20 long waiting to talk. And, and then they would get into the, the, the fan girly mode. And they, they would cry, they couldn't talk, they were frozen up, they were, it was just, it was wonderful. So. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on. All right, we're looking forward to it. Gonna, forward. When I saw you walking by, I said, I, I need him. We gotta, we gotta get him on the show. I knew I needed to get over here too, so. <laughs> appreciate that. Thank Robert, you so much. thank you, thank you so much. Because you folks are live. Oh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna set up his camera real of quick. Of course, come on. It's the, it's the <laughs> what do you call it? Fourth wall. It's some fourth wall stuff right here. So many cameras. The operation behind the operation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so first off, share with the folks who you are. What brings you here this weekend? Are you learning anything? Are you having fun? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'm Andrew. This and is, I'm Sabrina. This is my wife. Uh, we're from Funky Feathers Homestead in Burgon, North Carolina. And we were originally from this area. Uh, moved down there to help rehabilitate some family land. Um, and we came here to learn as much as possible from all of these wonderful, wonderful people who've been at it for longer than us. Wait, yeah. Where's, where's your notebooks? Uh, in the stroller with our sleeping tiger. <laughs> yeah. So um, we we call her Farmer Lou, and um, he's been learning more than me. Uh, I've mostly learned about alpaca and goats because that's the only place my toddler has let me go. Um, so actually, the the nice woman with the, the goat set up over there, we've we've learned a lot from them. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, so share a little more. You're in North Carolina, you said. We're in Burgon, North Carolina, which um, and you've got four thousand acres. No. Oh gosh. We've <laughs> We've got a small, small, small homestead, uh, seven and a half acres. Right now, we're just doing the gateway. We're just doing the chickens. Um, this is our first year. They just started laying eggs. Uh, and from all the stuff that we're learning here today, we are super confident that we can expand into meat birds and some other stuff next year. Definitely getting the meat birds. Log cabin? Uh, no, it's it's fa family house. Family house. Um, I, my family actually bought the land. I, I should say my parents bought the land back in 2004. Okay. With the intention of doing something like this, um, but my father's health started to fail, and he passed away at the beginning of this year. I'm sorry. Uh, thing. Um, so we were having issues up here getting started. I, I don't know if you're familiar with the area, but it, it's very expensive. We're from Ohio. Oh, okay. We're North Central Ohio stuff. Okay. Uh, we're not really familiar, but this is our third year down here for this event. Um, so. Yeah, and the cost of land was getting to be too much. We tried the renting route, and yeah. it, just, it, did not, it did not work out. We had a horrible property in West Virginia, so we moved to Leesburg, Virginia, where we were renting property. That didn't work out. So now we're trying family property in North Carolina, and so far so good. So we're, we're hoping that that will be it. Well, you have a very unique name, so there's got to be something behind the name. Yes. Yes. Uh, so when we decided to get chickens, like I think everybody who gets into it, <laughs> We knew what was good for us as far as our, our plan, but then we had what, what we wanted, you know, like, uh, we knew that we wanted to get Get quail. You know? Get quail. Get quail. Yeah, eventually. Um, we, uh, uh, we knew that to get production reds. If you want eggs, production reds are the way to go. They're hardy in all weather, whole nine yards. But then we also wanted to get something, something pretty. Somebody wanted a fancy flock, and so you know we we were at the um, southern states picking out our birds, and we got a handful of Polish, and so um, they we're currently freeloaders, by the way. Yes. Everybody else is laying with these Polish eggs. So we had to have you know our, our pretty ones, and one of our Polish has quite a personality, and so she kind of became the star of the show and uh yeah, so yeah. Oh, we had a show but yeah, yeah. The, the star of the show at home and uh so we went with 
funky feathers. We're looking for something with two Fs because Schaefer. Uh, we're my married name is now Schaefer, and my maiden name also had double Fs. So we were like double F something, and so Funky Feathers was born. How was that? Schaefer Speech Shop. Yeah, I'm not affiliated with these with these people, but they are in the town next over from where we live, and they happen to have the same name as us, but we're not related somehow. <laughs> one of the many, many, you know, German immigrants. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a bit of a speed background. So oh, okay. My uh, my uncle actually used to. He's since kind of retired from it uh, due to his age, but he actually used to run drag race cars, build them from scratch, you know, okay. get the frame, put the motor in a whole nine yards. So that's, I think that's how he came to know these people. Yeah, and mine, mine was around your house. Oh, oh look, I got gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I want to know if we have rabbits. Not yet. We do not have rabbits yet. We're actually just going to, there's the guy up the hill from Independence Acres, so we're going to talk to him about maybe um, eventually venturing into meat rabbits. I'm not sure that I could eat a rabbit, but um, we like heard chickens. that they eat, make great dog food, and we have some also freeloading dogs <laughs> that um, are costing us a lot of money in dog food, so maybe we're going to raise some uh, some rabbits to... <laughs> Offset cost, hopefully. Yeah. That could be fun. Yeah. So, your YouTube channel, how long have you been doing that? Two months. Two months. Two yeah, months. we just started once just we moved to North started. Carolina. We, yeah. So, the, we're brand, brand new. The story with that was, you know, of course, everybody here has seen Justin Rhodes at, at some point, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we started when we first met three years ago in Chile. Yeah, we three and a half years ago. We were looking at like alternative places to live, not just the, the house. We, so, we started looking at yurts. So, as I'm Google searching yurts, up comes a video of Justin Rhodes. He and his family went to go stay in it and it was like the slow process but I became like a YouTube junkie like I started okay. getting on and then I would see somebody else toddler. yeah and then, and then I'd start following more people and well, you're probably okay. familiar then with Fit Farmer yeah. 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 yeah he saved you know I, I tried to give him a shout out yesterday um, I walked up to him and thanked him and he was like uh <laughs> it was kind of a weird thing to say he actually and it's the cra craziness the stuff that you learn we were getting tore up by mosquitoes because we're coastal. Every time a thunderstorm comes through, the mosquito population just shoots through the roof. And my legs were getting torn up by mosquitoes. Any place I couldn't slap easily, they would just find. He did a little video. He's like, yeah, and if you want to avoid mosquitoes, put a fan up while you're gardening and, and they can't fly into the wind. I did that the next day and it was like a life changer. So it's it's not just like the big farming stuff that you learn, it's like little life hacks that people have come up with. It's really cool. And then here of course with the like Joel, I can't I'm trying to write notes, oh I can't even keep up with it. It's crazy. That is just so full of information. So we're just breaking into it. We started documenting our journey once we moved to North Carolina and our, we're still setting up the homestead and now we're we went through a hurricane so that was uh fun we're in hurricane alley which is lots of fun obviously sherry has found you yes awesome. and i'm not familiar with you so it's only 20 videos and, and it's it's literally the, the last few have just been me running away from wasps and yeah. hornets and stuff every there's time i open a new door there's a <laughs> killer bugs yeah. in north carolina yeah, for sure. We did not know about. <laughs> <laughs> Going into so. the But yeah, and we're, we're not doing, uh, we're just kind of doing it because family members kind of the, were the crazy ones we're now. <laughs> yeah. Not that we weren't Dude, before. We're the crazy chicken people. But, you know. people there's a voyeuristic uh, characteristic that people have that want to watch our chicken journey. So that's awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't call that <laughs> Well, like, people just like to watch what other people are doing. Like, oh, they love seeing pictures of the chickens. So we're like, hey, we're yeah. moving to North Carolina. And we moved away from a lot of, you know, friends and family. So that's our way to keep up with what we're doing in our crazy chicken journey. We made the mistake of naming some of our chickens. So, you know, they're going to be retirement chickens at some point. Yeah. Um, hard to get, hard to get those some of them are just, you know... Ten years from now, we're going to be laying in eggs, yeah. they'll just be hanging out on the farm, but, uh, but yeah, we're just... So are, you, are you looking to, to, to go with some, uh, some goats or cows or... Yes, we're, we learned 
we learned from several, like I was starring in points that multiple people were making in the talks, and a, a few of them were, have a plan. And the plan can change, sure. but have a plan first. And we are dreamers. And we are, and so we are the people, we like to just get ahead of ourselves. So it was kind of nice to have multiple people say, slow down, don't go too fast. So we had like this three year plan of we're going to get, we're going to get the fencing down, and we're going to get pigs, and we're going to have all these dairy goats, and an alpaca. Or, <laughs> but now it's like, okay, we managed laying hens. Next year, let's do some meat bird production. Yeah. And our overall goal, uh, we want to give back. Like what we've learned, we want to turn around and, and teach as well. Um, and not not necessarily on like a global scale. I'll leave that to to Joel Sal. He can he can handle the global things. But in our neighborhoods, in in our town, um, we would like to turn around and teach back what, what we've learned about food health because I mean we we're obviously not the most food conscious people you can tell but the more we that makes you very food conscious <laughs> <laughs> on the seafood diet Yes. Yes. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yes. Um, and so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, into, I so we'll to be moving into birds. birds. I obviously want some goats. Yeah. You goats to be kidding me. But, Go, uh, goats are on the list, but probably. An alpaca. I really, before I even got into homesteading, I've always loved alpaca. And, uh, Gentlemen sitting right here can definitely give you some information on alpacas. All right. Awesome. That'd be great. So alpaca are my thing. When, when you're done, he'll give you the 100% lowdown on alpaca. How, how long have you been having it? Probably 12 years. 12 oh, years. Wow. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, I mean some serious. Oh, that's cool. You can appreciate listen that. To him. Yeah. You can't milk them, right? <laughs> what? I'm not saying it's impossible. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you for, ha for, for having us let me sit down. Thanks for letting us sit and chat. Would you guys like to be on a Monday night show sometime? I'm sorry, what? Would you guys like to be on a Monday night live show sometime? Absolutely. Sure. You would? Absolutely. That's for sure. Do we need all this fancy equipment? <laughs> no, we have a lot of people do it, just do it from a phone. Okay, oh, cool. We use a Skype connection. Okay. okay. Ooh, our internet. Oh, yeah. Well, that's another reason we use Skype. <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't require as much. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that's right, right, right. Do, uh... <laughs> but it looks to me like our first opening is June 20th. June 29th. June 29th. Oh, that's the day after my birthday. Oh, hey, perfect. Yeah. Yes, we'd... we'd up next year. Up next, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, I think the kids are going to be there, too. <laughs> oh, cool. They can see us. The nibblings come to visit. <laughs> and uh, we put them to work. <laughs> they live in Virginia Beach. And then yes. they come to the farm. It's great fun. <laughs> Is your email address on your YouTube channel? Did you put it on there yet? I think it is. It's funkyfeathershomestead at gmail.com. We'll, we'll put I, that on there. Yeah, sure. we'll make sure that it's on there. I think I added it on there. Okay. Um, if it's not on there, it's a on our Okay, Facebook. here's my shameless plug. Okay. We do our Monday Night Live. It's fun. It's Tuesday night, we do a Tech Tuesday. Okay. okay. Okay, if somebody wants to know how do you uh, edit your videos, how do you, how do you uh, manipulate uh, pictures, make your banners, so forth. Thursday nights, when, when, we're, when we're home, we do a uh, kind of a supporting stream. We we'll, we'll kind of re critique your channel a little bit. Oh, okay. And we say, gosh, you don't have your email address here. Nobody can find you. Don't be silly. Get it here. Yeah. Uh, how, do, how do they lay out their pages, make them more presentable for people? So we do all that kind of stuff. Okay. Little things that people don't know. They don't notice. Yeah. Right. So we do that. We start at 5 o'clock Eastern time. Okay. And usually run till 9. <laughs> yeah, we actually we have been doing a lot of stuff on the mobile interface, and I finally logged in because our internet at yeah. home is so horrible. So bad. We, um, I finally logged into the actual like desktop interface and realized there's all these extra features that oh, yeah. are not available on the mobile interface. Oh, you can, you can put a background picture? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. that, that is another big thing. That I thought you had this little girl up yep. there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Preference is a PC, but if you're a Mac person, well, you're a Mac person. <laughs> we have the PC, we just have like horrible internet, and it would cost 
hundreds of thousands of dollars to get internet run out to our house. We're oh, it's yeah. very no, rural county. Most McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good, good go find a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do we have a Starbucks at No, Brown Dog Coffee. Brown Dog Coffee. Brown Dog Coffee. Yes. That's where we'll go. And we do love. Well, thanks so much for stopping yes, by. Yes, thank you so much. It was nice to meet you guys.